I'm going to configure the information center on HP switches in this video. Um, so we have five lag destinations, console, monitor terminal, lag buffer, lag host, and lag file. These lag output destinations are independent and you can configure them after enabling the lag information center. I mean the information center. And how do you, and you can enable that by doing this command here. And I also have a link, a link of the log formats. If you want to check it out, you can just uh, <clears throat> just go to this link, and that link is this. So let me see if I can get an example here. Yeah, this here. Console monitor, monitor terminal log buffer or log console. These are the format and this is the example. And same here, um, log host and this is the format. This is the this is an example. So I'm going to configure. I have this topology, just uh, two switches, switch one and switch two connected it to each other. And I already already configured them with an IP address. And just change the font. Okay, so now I will um, enable the info center. Uh, so I'm going to, so it is system view, info center enable, and information center but log buffer is enabled by default. I'm going to do that command anyway. And this here, the log buffer size uh, can store 512 logs. I think that this depends on the model of the of your HP switch. And this here, log file enable is enabled by default as well. And the directory, the default directory is flash uh, colon slash log file. And that's the we don't you don't have to configure it because that's the uh, that's the default. But I'm going to configure this anyway. And let me show that <clears throat> directory. Let me just uh, go to. So this is how you go to that particular directory. And this is how you show the, the files. In this case, there's no files in that uh, directory. <clears throat> That's fine. Um, I guess, I mean, this is a new switch. I mean, a switch in this lab uh, software. It's called H HCL. <clears throat> And next, uh, info info center timestamp date is default. Let me see if we can. Yeah, date is default. And date, if you are going to configure a lag host or a system syslag server, date is default as well. And of course, you can specify other options or choose other options if you want. And this here, this is how you, of course, uh, let me just do this. 
this here, this is how you specify the lag host. Yeah, you can specify the source, IP address for lag information. Uh, but in our case, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, and I can just save the config. And now I can do these verifications, verification commands. So here I can do that. So it says here that the, I mean, the default file directory is this for the diagnostic or diag file. And it is enabled. And this one here, I can do summary also, but that's not really helpful. So I'm just going to do this. So this here reverse, meaning that it will give you, the switch will show the most recent logs. So yeah. And this is how, this is another command. I mean, display log buffer command. This will uh, give you the, you know, the, <clears throat> the oldest commands, I mean logs. And if you scroll down, you will see um, at the bottom that these 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 logs are the most uh, common. I mean, recent logs. So as you can see here. And of course, you can do this command as well, which will give you the whether the uh, console, monitor, lag host, lag buffer, and lag file are enabled or not. So in our case, uh, they are all enabled. I mean, except for this one, this is uh, disabled. <clears throat> Security log file. We don't have that here, but uh, I think that would be part of yeah, we don't have here. One, two, three, four, five. So aside from these five, we also have security log file. And we can actually verify that by, oops. Here, that would be the, this would be the a directory or the uh, security log file. Yeah, there's no files in that directory. Okay. Um, so this to display the content of flash log file, follow procedure below. So I can just do this. So I can say log file and then this. In our case, we don't have this particular log file because uh, by default, this switch will uh, store the log files in this directory every 24 hours. And how do I do? I how I I mean I found that by checking this file here or document. Log file size, where is it? It's 
the dub file. Pretty sure I, I found that, I saw that, uh, I read that particular uh, statement. I think this would be here. Log file. 24 hours here. By default, the log file feature saves logs from the log file buffer to the log file every 24 hours. <clears throat> yeah. And this is basically a short uh, procedure on how you configure uh, NTP in client and server mode on HP switches. So I'm just quickly going to just copy paste these commands. So I'm specifying time zone uh, to GMT. And this is how you enable NTP. And this is how you specify this NTP server. And these are the commands to verify it. Of course, this is not going to be synchronized because this is just a dummy uh, server. So that's fine, uh, but in real world, uh, you should see uh, that clock status status is synchronized. <clears throat> but I was able to specify the time zone for this particular switch, so I'm going to save the config. So that's how you can configure information center or info center uh, and NTP on HP switches.